in this activity, we will look into the TCP IP uh, stack and also the OSI models. Now we're going to examine the HTTP uh, web traffic. So we're going to use uh, uh, this, this network. There is uh, a web client and a web server. We're going to use this uh, network. So first of all, uh, we're going to uh, switch uh, from the real-time uh, mode to the simulation mode. So as you can see, uh, I'm basically, basically uh, switching from the real-time mode to the simulation mode. And there are some event uh, list, event, uh, you know, uh, controls uh, that you can see on the screen. So we're going we're gonna to basically, you know, uh, learn those things uh, today. So as you can see, there are some event uh, list uh, filters and HTTP is selected uh, to basically filter the information of HTTP. And now we're going to generate uh, web traffic. For that, we, we will go to the web client. We click on it and then the desktop uh, icon. And we're going to have to uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, run the click on the web browser. And over here, we need to write the, you know, the IP address. Since we do not know the, uh, the web address because we haven't configured the DNS server, so we're going to write down the IP address. So the IP address is 192.168.1.254. And I press go. And let me see what is the IP address. Let me go back and check the IP address. All right, so it is 192.61.254. Yeah, that is the IP address. Okay, so let's uh, click on web client and click on the desktop tab and uh, let's uh, click on the web browser. And I'm going to have to write the IP address of the web server and how I'm going to know the IP address. So I will go back. I'll, you know, click on the web server, click on the fast Ethernet, and it shows me the IP address, which is 192.168.1.254. Okay, so now I click on web client, go to the desktop, and uh, the click on web browser. So I'm going to have to write the IP address of the web server in the URL field, because uh, we haven't configured the DNS yet, so there is no way to resolve the domain name uh, even if we know the domain name. So 192.168.1.254. And I click on go. And here you go. It says web server. You have successfully accessed the web, the homepage for the web server. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and turn the simulation mode. And I'm going to run the capture uh, forward, uh, you know, uh, button. And it's going to capture, you know, start capturing it. All right. So. So here you go. I mean, uh, you, you, you see the list of things. Uh, the list of transmission, the packets uh, that uh, uh, were transmitted from client to the web server. All right, so uh, four uh, basically communication uh, took place. Um, so let's click on this uh, colored uh, box. And it shows us the, uh, the information, the PDU information. PDU stands for protocol data unit. And uh, over there we have two tabs since uh, there is only one event. So uh, there is only you can see only two tabs as the more events, uh, you know, uh, will take place. The number of tabs will also increase. So this is OSI model uh, and uh, in the outlet it says that device web client and the source uh, web client destination is an HTTP client. So this is just uh, it's creating a packet. All right, a PDU and you can also look into the you know, the, the different fields of this packet. All right, the TCP packet, the IP packet, Ethernet packet, and, um, and you know, a, a whole lot of the things. All right, so uh, it says the layer 7. If you click on layer 7, you can also click on other layers, layer 4, layer 3, 
layer 2 so this basically is you know showing you the tcp ip uh, the osi uh, stack the seven layer stack and you can see there are only you know uh, one two three four and five layers which are currently active so let's click on the second uh, color box and this is basically the the, the mess you know the the message has trickled down on the client machine to the layer one all right and when I click on the third uh, box, this is the message that is received at the web server. The source is the web client. And now you can see the in layers and the out layers. And there is another, you know, uh, uh, tab inbound PDU details. So um, you click on all the different layers. It shows you the details of that layer. And we have the, you can also look into the, you know, the protocol data unit details the actual packet at each layer that you receive you can look into the details of that also so uh, this is the out layer this is the packet that you know that is uh, going to be sent back to the client by the server so let's click on the last uh, you know colored box and this is the packet that is received at the client uh, by the, you know, uh, from the web server. And uh, it basically, you know, uh, if fast Ethernet, uh, you know, zero uh, receives the frame, you know, the frame destination MAC address matches the receiving ports MAC address. So if you click on each layer, it, it basically, you know, uh, tells you the description, what, what has happened in that layer. And also we have, you know, on layer four and the device is basically, you know, a TCP packet is received at layer four. And we can also basically look into the other details. So if I click on the show all, it basically, you know, shows me all the type of, you know, packets that were uh, transmitted uh, during this uh, communication um, of the web server. So there is this TCP packet, you know, the, uh, you know, HTTP packet, which we have already looked into and, you know, uh, some other packets, uh, which are not shown here. All right. So, and, and, you know, a whole lot of other, you know, uh, filters that we can apply also. So this is, I mean, we, we basically looked into you know how uh, to generate a web traffic and then also the details of how the you know the packets are actually transmitted what information there is in inside the packet which we call also the pdu the protocol data unit